differentiates humans from animals? Biologists classify humans as animals and part of the animal kingdom. Like our nearest relatives, the apes, humans are also mammals. Humans have evolved from apes, but there are features that differentiate us from other animals, including apes. These include the upright walk, our opposable thumb, our special ability to communicate by a language, and our highly developed brain. Our brain allowed our ancestors, like the Neanderthals, to invent tools. Humans, Latin homo, and apes have common ancestors, but they developed independently to become what they are today. Did humans evolve from the apes? Today, one can think of the apes and humans as cousins. They have common ancestors, but have not descended directly from each other. About five to seven million years ago, a line of man-like apes grew apart and evolved independently of the other apes. The oldest, almost completely intact skeleton of an upright ancestor of humans, the Australopithecus, was found in 1974 in Ethiopia, Africa. The scientists named it Lucy. Humans and animals resemble each other. However, there is a big difference. The human can act independent of his instinct. Who were the Neanderthals? The Neanderthals were people who lived 130,000 to 30,000 years ago, but then died out due to unknown reasons. One theory is that other lines of humans were stronger and eliminated them. The Neanderthals were about 1.7 meters tall, had a heavily built body, and were very powerful. They needed this power and strength to hunt woolly mammoths and rhinoceros with their homemade spears and knives. They made clothes of animal skins, lived in caves, and used fire. Their name is derived from the place where their remains were found, the Neander Valley near Dusseldorf. Do animals use tools? Animals do make use of tools for getting food or for protecting themselves. Apes reach for sticks or stones when threatened. Sea otters break their favorite food, the shells, with the help of stones, and a species of finches picks out insects from tree trunks with a long cactus quill. For generations, the young ones of animals have watched the traits of the adults and imitated them exactly. Humans, on the other hand, may change the traits according to personal requirements. Humans advance and discover new things by believing that the hand axe made by prehistoric man out of stone has today given rise to sharp knives, chainsaws, and many other things. Biologists call these finches cactus biza, which pick with cactus quills. Adapting and learning. It is hard to believe, but is our brain bigger than that of dinosaurs? Dinosaurs had small brains, much smaller than the human brain. The dinosaur brain often weighed only a thousandth of their huge body mass. An adult human brain is about one-fifth of its body mass, on an average around 1400 grams. Since the early hominid creatures, whose skeletons were found in Africa, the brain mass of humans has increased threefold. In comparison, the size of the brains of other mammals has hardly changed in the course of millions of years. Did you know that Lucy, one of the first hominid skeletons dated to be more than three million years old, was called that because the archaeologist who discovered Lucy was listening to the Beatles' song Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds while studying the skeleton. Africa is considered to be the cradle of mankind because most of the remains of our ancestors have been found there. What is so special about our thumb? Unlike other animals, our thumb is opposable, which means that it has free movement and can be placed opposite the fingers of the same hand. This helps us to grip things securely and lets us do delicate jobs like threading a needle. Our grooved fingertips prevent smooth things from slipping away. This movement of the hand, combined with the freely moving shoulder joint and the upright posture, gave our ancestors a development advantage. Tools or weapons could be used for a specific purpose with great power. 